is something more than just being decorative. It's transforming. It gives people hope. With my artwork, I want to change lives in some way. Going out every day and you see something new in your community, a new piece of artwork, and you wonder who created it and what was the inspiration. I think that art is transformative, and if we transform in the city, we can't do it without art. Having public work displayed, it, it's so vital because as an artist, your life is your message. So the mural project was a beautification project trying to create beauty in places that didn't exist throughout the city. We wanted people to be able to come out their doors and experience something like what they can experience if they walked in the North Museum. We used the creative uh, placemaking as a way to beautify neighborhoods, beautify communities, and beautify the souls of the people who live there. We just wanted to show how artistic expression can be a means to transform communities. Living in Newark, it has this old kind of culture, so I kind of want to reflect that in my paintings and show, like, pride to live here. A lot of my pieces are music, jazz-based pieces, uh, so I wanted to have something where capture maybe a few different generations, so you have the uh, grandfather, father, and the daughter. My mother always inspired me to keep on drawing. To see it today, you know, it's just like, it, it, sometimes it gets overwhelming because I said, this is just the beginning, you know? I feel that art is transforming the city in a major way because we're getting more and more people that are not prone to gallery culture, artistic culture, that want to know what it's about. The mural project in itself is a great, great way of bringing life to a city. It's also a great way of bringing people together. They have something to talk about. Since I deal with a lot of people and with their ideas, a lot of times it's a process where I get to know the person or the owner of the property, the building, or the people that are in the program. And I kind of work off of the vibes that I get and uh, freestyle, you know, the, the work on the wall. Well, the purpose of this mural, amen, that we, it symbolizes peace, joy, and love, and happiness. And one of the things that I wanted to do is to bring about change within our community. The Bible says, go out into the hedges and the highway to compel them to come. And sometimes, amen, we need to send a word, a message of hope to them, amen, before they come into the doors. For me, art, it's been a way I communicate with other people. It instantly opens up a conversation. You know, it's nothing worse than an untold story, so that's what I'm focusing on, as well as doing things in the community inspire other people. It's great to see how we're getting art more like in the forefront of things. Because it, was, it wasn't an opportunity to do murals like they are, or just to beautify areas that's looking condemned because you want them to have a better image. And this is what we need. We need to uplift the minds. These have culture, class, and depth to it. You know, it reaches you because it reaches about our history, our background, and gives us a sense of where we came from to where we at now and where we're going in the future. I spoke to a guy, and he wanted to know why we were putting faces up all over the place. And I said, well, you know, our kids grow up in neighborhoods where they don't get to see their face. But when they do, it's something negative. When you see images of yourself in a positive light, you tend to appreciate yourself more. It kind of instills a sense of pride. When I go up Clinton Avenue and I see Martin and Megger and Amira, I always throw them a kiss, you know? <laughs> see, it's not just about us, it's about the community. Because you never know, like, somebody might be having a bad day and they could walk around and, and, and see all the different murals and stuff like that and it could change their minds. Because you never know how you touch a life. You could touch a life through artwork because it makes you feel. The mural that we did on the stage, that's the one that we worked on together, um, and that one's called Rejoice. The whole concept behind that has to do with celebration and music and the arts and being free. We wanted to be able to 
express that in a way so that when the people who are on stage performing, um, that, that spirit would kind of like encase them as they're projecting their art to the people. What Newark means to me, I couldn't be here in front of this camera and be speaking and talking in the element in the way that I am if it wasn't for Newark, because this is the place that manufactured me. Coming up as a child, we had strong neighborhoods, we had strong families, and I've seen how uh, the city of Newark has uh, withstood. I think the people in Newark are resilient, uh, you know, that they're persistent, that they struggle through so many different things. We've been through so many eras uh, in this town, in this city, and we're still here and we're still kicking. When I'm driving home, I see not only the murals, but I see the students uh, getting involved in many different things in the community. I hope they get inspired. I hope they draw something from it to envision themselves doing something great. I hope it inspires ideas. Newark is, is the best place on earth. And I think that it's just gonna be a continuation of what's always been here. Oh, I see a bright future for the city. You know, a very artistic future for the city. Like, a very uplifting future for the city. You know, we building leaders. We're gonna be here and we're gonna keep organizing and keep pushing in this city until we create a place that we can be proud of. My name is Kyrie Johnson Ricks. I am a public artist and a DJ here in Newark. I go by the name of Fuego, Jose the artist. Hi, my name is Malik Whitaker, and I'm a Newark artist and Newark muralist. I'm Raymond P. Alexander. I'm an artist called a Renaissance man. The mayor has uh, charged us with making sure that a ton of, what's going on, Mook? <laughs> I'm sorry, we from here, so, you know, people know, terrible. All right, we're gonna talk about neighborhood development real quick. 